Hmm. Zero reward. No base pay compensation derived from sell sellable data recovered from PCA regs. Wow. Well, yeah, screw it. I guess let's go get this, this port. Got a job for you, 621. We've received a request from the Archibus Group. Raven, this request comes from our subsidiary, Schneider. Schneider. It concerns the Bertram spaceport, which you and V4 brought under our control. We've received intel that a stranded PCA fleet is planning to retake the base. Your objective is to intercept the PCA and defend the spaceport. Yeah, they just we don't deployed learn. an MT squad to support you. Use them as you see fit. Ooh, I get a little bit of help. That concludes the briefing. Good luck. Woo! I don't think I actually get to control them, though. They're just going to be around. The PCA are going to be fighting to win. 621, don't forget you have MT backup. I'll do my best, but I don't know how it's going to function. Like, I'd love to have, like, real... MT like directable ally main system activating combat mode or have them like tied to my UI Commence I... mission. Wait, something's not right. Six two one. Hey, where's our MTs? Over already. Find out what's going on. Oh, jeez. Even the warships are down already. What the hell? Oh, spooky. Who's that AC? Do you read me, Raven? Hey! I've identified the target. That's the mercenary who took your name. Oh, shit. The real Raven? Let's see how far they can fly. Oh shit, that's sick! On borrowed wings. Oh, uh, wait, hold up! I just found your license, alright? It was nothing personal! going against an enemy AC. We can swap things around. Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. Wait, something's not right, 621. The battle's over already. Find out what's going on. Bring it on, AC. Nightfall. Augmented human C-461. 
Just outright, not set up. Raven, we can still. <sighs> All right. We'll watch this one. See where they go on a raven's wings. My other AC slugger. It's just an adaptable AC. Not meant to deal with certain things like that. Detonating missile launcher. Ooh. No new messages. All right, that means Ari is going to talk to us. I looked into the other Raven, the independent mercenary who attacked you. It turns out that Raven isn't an individual call sign. It was like a whole fucking organization. Passed down generations of mercenaries who champion the free will Raven stands for. Yeah. They choose what to fight for and take to the skies in flight. If that's what being a Raven means, then that's the name I want to keep calling you. Raven. Thanks, Yair. R-E-A. Ooh. That's a cool design, right? So what did we... Did we get there? Uh, hold up. Alright, hold up. AC data. Load up Slugger 2. We got... Javelin Beta, a special missile launcher developed by Allmine, creates a chain of delayed explosions along the missile's trajectory, allowing for sustained suppressive fire even against targets that manage to evade the initial missile. Hmm. Oh, that's very interesting. That looks really cool. I don't think it would help me in half of the scenarios that I'm in. But it looks cool. <laughs> you know, that's like, all right. Okay. Oh, are there new parts? Oh, it's probably just, yeah, the Javelin Beta, but for the other shoulder. E. Historic Data Recovery. Raven, I have a personal request to ask you. What's up? It's about the Angabret Tunnel, which is to be shut down after it was hit by a coral surge. I want to go there and survey the area. Even before the coral surge, that place had been all but abandoned. It's an old structure, dating far back into the colonization of Rubicon. There must be items of interest from throughout the planet's history there. As I'm sure you're aware, I have no resources with which to pay you. But I can propose an alternative. If you find any wrecks left by the PCA, you should try accessing them. Both the corporations and the Rubiconians are gathering data on PCA technology. Whatever you collect, I can exchange for credits and transfer the funds to you. 
Sweet. I'm glad you're such an a cap you're such a capable voice in my head. I've taken a few liberties. Walter thinks you've gone on a geological survey. Thank you for doing this for me, Raven. Got it. I just wish that like <laughs> I knew how to say your name. <laughs> It's spelled like Ear. Activating combat mode. Iri. Let's get started, Raven. I've already located several wrecks that we should be able to recover data from. I'll send the marker data. I'm sure this had to be. PCA craft data. I'll exchange it for credits and send them to you later. <laughs> Move my landing on it. Coral is able to conduct data and can influence digital equipment. The effects of the coral surge must have brought some of the wrecks back online. Let's see what we can find. What do you mean? I brought some of the wrecks online. You, you mean these are all just unmanned MTs? Yeah. This data seems valuable too. I'm so glad this is turning into a profitable mission. Let's keep looking, Raven. An older generation of AC. Mm. What's got on it? Parts? Parts, parts, parts? No. Professor Nagai's log. Four. Text data extracted from a wreck. The lost auto transcription for a voice log recorded by a Professor Nagai, the Rubicon Research Institute director. No, the coral tide is rising at an abnormal rate. This resonance, it suggests some kind of mutation. Run the calculations. How much time do we have? 47 hours, 2 minutes, 16 seconds. We still have time. Deploy Ibis! According to the timestamp, this was recorded two days before the fires of Ibis. Oh, Ibis. This seems to be about the warning signs of the calamity, right before it struck. They knew, but they just they didn't know how bad it was going to be. Planet might be the bed. Used to pilot these. Oh, say, see. Dalmayan's writings, too. This appears to come from the writings of Thumb Dalmayan, father of the Liberation Front. How long has it been since I first saw her voice? Fear not, she said. There will always be plenty. She told me this as I was imbibing Rubicon's blessings of one fateful day. If I were you, I'd never allow this, I replied, and I was forever ashamed by my decision. This seems to be a recording of Domayan, the Liberation Front's ideological leader. But this appears to be something exceptionally personal. Yeah, rather than just like, just public domain info. Inspecting data. It's a schematic for an SG craft. Hi there. Oh, it's like a little crab. I just thought those were like generally hovering. Whoa. 
Enforcement squads. That was a big sale, sixty. <laughs> All right. Another old research institute, I see. What do we got here, Doctor Professor Nagailog? Yep, two. Assistant number one has lost his mind. His research has utterly consumed him. Granted, there may be some logic to see Paul's sensory augmentation of human su uh, subjects, but no ethical scholar would ever dare cross that point of no return. Mankind is driven mad by possibilities. What does Coral represent, if not sheer potential? This is about the first augmented humans. The same Coral technology that created you. But without it, we never would have made contact. I'm not picking up any more data stores. If this outage is to think about Rubicon's past or the nature of Coral, then it was all worth it. I don't know about the nature of Coral, but I may think a little bit about Rubicon's past. Happy to hear about it a little bit, especially since I'll more than likely go after what seems like she wants us to do. for vouching for me. I'm sorry about the inevitable time that I'll do something you don't want me to. Maybe he'll come along for it anyways, though. One new message. What kept you, 621? You're a famous mercenary now. Time to act like one. <sighs> This next mission's all or nothing. Make sure you attend the briefing. Ooh. Uh, well, hold up. What the fuck's a stun needle launcher? Where's my cannon? Oh, god damn it. I need it. Anti-ice worm weapon designed by Archibus ADD. Neutralizes coral shi uh, shielding with electrical interference by firing a massive electrified needle to create a powerful discharge at the point of impact. Okay. Shoot. Alright, fine. Buy a missile launcher for my left shoulder. I still want like the big, the big damage burst. I will forego the smaller missiles. What the fuck is this? Oh, that's the yeah. Okay, that's the one we just saw. See, the problem with this is like, okay, that's great if we like aim at an enemy, you know, like in this at the end of a line. So then it blows up along the way. A lot of times enemies are a little bit more spread out than that, you know?
Hmm. How are we going to do this without getting overburdened? Like right there at the line. I'd have to just forego my 4,100 HP. Hmm. Destroy the ice worm, concludes chapter. All right. Destroy the ice worm, a massive weapon deployed by the Planetary Closure Administration. Archimus will provide a prototype weapon to ensure reach of the ice worm's coral shielding. I don't even know if I really, like, needed that. <laughs> what about the the rail cam from R.A.D.? Listen up, 621. This will be a joint operation led by Balaam and Archibus. The briefing's about to start. I want you to attend. First, some background before we go into detail. The intercorporate ceasefire is now in effect, <laughs> and we will be carrying out coordinated attacks against the PCA. The targets are the enemy-occupied bases, the heavy warship fleet, and the recently activated... I'll cut to the chase. This is an all-out war against the PCA in theaters across Rubicon. And you all got the short end of the stick. You're here to take on the worst of our dirty work, hunting the beast of the ice field. Sure thing, Chief. Tell you what, I'll watch and let you know how badly that goes for us. Gun 5, you just volunteered yourself for the front line. Oh my god. Moving on. He Let's really talk did about put how we're going to line. neutralize the Ice Worm's coral shield. You'll be dealing with a layered barrier made up of a primary and a secondary shield. Archibus will provide the means to break the first layer. State-of-the-art stun needle launcher. Aim for the face, and it will deliver results, I assure you. What about the second layer? R.A.D.'s cooked up just the thing. A neat little toy we call the Overt Rail Cannon. If we divert the spaceport standby power to the ORC, it should hit hard enough, assuming we land the shot. You can leave that to me. I know a thing or two about sharpshooting. Sweet. Our <laughs> Rusty is operations on the ground. A ragtag crew like this needs leadership. We could use some more suppressive fire. I'll send Chatty. That just leaves the question of who will be taking charge of the stun needle launcher. I already got it equipped. I know just the volunteer to go poke that beast with a stick. Gun 13. You get all that? Good! Time for another field trip! <laughs> the only information I needed out of that was you're gonna shoot the worm in the face. Good luck, Gun 13. Oh boy. It's not every day you see competing forces working together like this. Now we're never 621. Just throw me at the worm. This mission depends upon you, Raven. No. This mission I'll be here depends on a lot of people. Rusty's gotta hit his shots. <laughs> Gun 5's gotta be good bait. Oh, shit. Michigan will take command. Commencing operation with combined AC force as per the Balaam Archibus agreement. Move out, maggots! Time to die! Act like a professional oh. outfit and you might live. What does that creep think he is? I ain't here because I want to be. We gotta deal with those pesky shields first. Gun 13, roll out that fancy gizmo that Archibus paid the big bucks for. You need to aim for the head. The rest of its body is covered in thick armor. This is V4 Rusty. Rail cannon is good to go. Don't die before 
before I Oops, get a chance wrong to thing. fire, buddy. It's on E. It's on E. Tourist, got a message from the chief for you. Enjoy the show, and don't forget to smile. Smile when it's dead. Haha! Shield loss confirmed. Initializing ORC firing sequence. Whoa. Connecting EML modules. Opening energy turbines. Output at 80%. Sighting correction A okay. 90, 95. Should I take cover? I'm taking cover. I won't miss. Oh! Shit. shield down. Alright, Worm's taking damage now! If only they didn't we actually did it. Did take half of my ship. Minimum. This is just the first hurdle. The target's deployed drones, tourist. I'll handle them. I feel like that's not necessarily true. Yeah, they're ignoring us a little. Nope, yep, 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 that's the problem. Boy! V4 loading shell. One step ahead of you, Commander. Finally, someone with their head skirt on straight. Never thought about switching sides. Sure is an honor to be praised by the Red Guns, hell on four legs. But I'll pass. I see you show up. Woo! <laughs> Shield loss confirmed. Preparing to fire rail cannon. Energy turbine output at 80%. Output 95%. 100%. Worm just... Oh, there it is. Watch out for friendly fire. Secondary shield down. It's all yours now, buddy. Wait, something's wrong. Fall back, six to one. You got it. Say it. You say it less. Underestimated this beast. My AC's compromised. Strong. The coral. It's out of control. Looks like things just took a nasty turn. I'll set the ORC to maximum output. We can't afford to lose control of the situation. Oh, fuck, it's destroying the place. Last. It's destroying the place to get to me. I mean, I hit it with Taking the laser. damage. Might be checking out soon, tourist. Chatty, I'm surprised you're even still with me. I'm, I'm so proud of you, buddy. Else got fucked up. I'm assuming they're chilling out in there, though. Oh, I could have hit it here. Those are cool, what the hell? Firing missiles that fire other missiles? Fuck, I was holding E to charge it up.
target down! <gasps> they found me. The Freelancer really did it. I almost didn't. I got fucking knocked to 23 health. <laughs> Will contaminate the area. Get out of. Oh no. <sighs> Coral voices. Lost again. Raven. There's something I have to tell you. Go for it. The coral. It's my family. My brothers and sisters. Okay. I am but a single wave. Born from the coral tide. Wait, does that mean you're, you weren't a human first? A Rubiconian without a body. Oh. No one even knew I was there for such a long time. Raven, you're the only one who... Oh, six two one. Things are going to get busy. You did good. Thanks, Walter. I'm happy when you tell me I did good and you don't just berate me like the others probably would. Clear mission: destroy the ice room. Yay! Well, when it comes to air, Ari, whatever. I figured that she was like, you know, somebody without like a body and that she was like literally talking to us through the coral as like just a conscious being among it. So that part, like, I, I was expecting that part, but her being like literally born within the field, like the energy. Huh. I don't really know what to do with that. <laughs> how many, how many people are in there that that just get born as coral energy just flow around the planet? Is coral energy from humans or some fucked up plot twist? Like, what's going on? The temporary alliance between the Archibus and Balaam groups turned the tide of war, devastating the Planetary Closure Administration forces and exiling them from Rubicon. Though it was the Ice Worm mission led by Balaam that dealt the decisive blow, Archibus, through their own engagements with the PCA, augmented their strength with seized weaponry. The balance of power was broken, the scales tipped in Archibus's favor and the Rubicon Liberation Front's hopes of fighting an exhausted foe were dashed. With the loss of their common enemy, the rival factions' war for the Coral abruptly reignited. And their bitter conflict burned with renewed intensity. <laughs> I hope they gave it a day at least, you know? <laughs> Hopefully they didn't just immediately send everybody off to war. Augmented human, C4621, entering standard mode. Two new messages. Doing okay, 621. I'm handling this. I wanted to let you rest some more, but the corpse are on the move already. With the PCA gone, it's back to work, getting to where the Coral's gathering. Do you remember the survey you carried out at Xylem? My friend analyzed the data and learned about a massive facility under the central ice field. Watch point Alpha. Turns out that the ice worm was defending the entrance to that place. It's time to let ourselves in. Raven, there's something you need to know. Again? What's up? That friend Walter mentioned. 
The comms database has no record of the conversation he just told you about. This isn't about just finding the cool, Raven. He's after something more, and he's using you to do it. Here on Rubicon. Yeah, it makes sense. He's using me for a lot of things. That part was well established. Registration number RB23, call sign, Raven. Your records have been updated. A rank virtual encounters are now available in the arena. May these encounters further guide your technique. Can I get some stuff in the shop too? That'd be sweet. Thank God. All right. That's what I'm looking at first the part shop. What do we got? High power linear rifle uh, developed by Balaam. The link. A lengthened, a lengthened barrel provides extra distance for rounds to accelerate, allowing for high damage at long range. However, this cost comes at a or comes at a cost of rapid fire potential. All right, not bad. Not bad. What else? Uh, machine gun designed for sustained combat potential and uses oversized ammunition magazines. Minimal need for reloading makes it well suited for suppressive fire. 720 total rounds. Maybe that's decent. I think this shotgun's new. Ducket, long barrel shotgun developed by Balaam. Model increases firepower, retaining the impact potential of its predecessor. Still taking advantage of this weapon in a large scale engagement, demands skill and experience. Sampu, burst handgun developed by you lost me. Compact bazooka. Jamming bomb launcher. Craft cod and blast will suffer from the compromised lock or from compromised lock on capabilities. However, exploiting this trick calls for considerable tactical finesse. Single-barreled laser rifle. Designed by Arquis ADD. Fundamental uh, performance has been improved in order to aid the effort against the Planetary Closure Administration. It can be charged to amplify its power. There's another laser shotgun. Okay. Ah. Uh, we got some things I might check out. Nothing super speaks to me, but I'll try out the either the linear rifle that we unlocked or one of the laser rifles we got. Oh, is this still sorted by uh, impact? That would make sense. Laser lance. Oh, is this the thing I got stabbed with? Yeah, I bet that does a bunch. The Javelin Alpha is still like crazy good, so. We're gonna keep that. Well, the linear rifle's got a higher impact and attack power than the laser rifle. Oh, well, actually, okay, no, the attack power on the laser rifle's pretty good. But the impact is just kind of mad. Although I guess to be fair, I shouldn't be carrying my like impact from a uh, weapon. With that said, I have put all my points into kinetic weaponry, so <laughs> I should do that. Now, what do we got for these? Ooh, these look crazy. What the hell? Pulse shield launcher. Deploys pulse barriers that cancel out incoming fire. That'd be funny in multiplayer. <laughs> Person just trying to shoot at you and just like, no. Uh, diffuse laser cannon. Spread bazooka. 
the impact on this bazooka, holy hell. Scatter Bazooka developed by Balaam. Scatters small shaped charges that deliver overwhelming impact potential. This weapon dominate er, captures the essence of Balaam's go-to strategy to dominate through the material's superiority. Huh. Okay, what about this diffuse laser can? It's kind of like a shotgun. <laughs> this is an enlarged version of the standard laser shotgun reimagines a back-mounted laser. Okay, to be able to support some of the stuff that we're looking at here, we're gonna need a... We need... Hopefully we got legs. Bigger legs. Oh! This is it! Look at this. Basically, full upgrades all around. Tetrapod leg option developed by Balaam. The design division was all but held at gunpoint to produce a model that satisfied the Red Gun's demand for a high, highly mobile AC platform, also capable of supporting heavy weapons. Let's, let's put on what we've got so far so I can kind of like get an idea of what the hell I'm doing here. Okay. Uh, AC name. Slugger 3.0. All right. AC data. I kind of want to just see, like, the progression of it over time. You know, we started off, like, here. Then we're here. Then we're here. Okay. Now that I've done that, <laughs> all that messing around, uh, let's see what we've got in the A ranks. How high does that go? Hmm. Okay, so the, the S ranks are one through three. Very intriguing. Let me swap. Did I get like any better like backwards legs? Not really. All right. Any crazy super burst boosters? Nope. This one might not be too bad. Close range has been nice with the shotgun, but like you, I lose out a lot on the medium part. My left shoulder weapon is very disappointing. Let's see if I can fix that a little bit. Uh, actually, I think we got something. Try the split missile launcher. I think that'd be a good one. You know, this detonating, I, I, I think a potential for that in like PvP would be like, sometimes you dodge, you know, like a player dodges these missiles. It wouldn't work too many times. You know, obviously you, you, <laughs> they, they would catch on, but like this would be a good punish weapon. Like if they dodged past the missile, they'd get damaged by it anyways. And they'd be like, what? Let me, uh, before I start fucking, let me, we're just gonna swap to this generator. It's just such a massive upgrade, having all that EN capacity. I think we go for this one. 
Like, we lose a little bit of boost speed, but that's fucking, I don't care that much. Like, it's, it, we get all the attitude stability. We get a fuck ton of generator output adjustment. And we get, like, a little bit more HP, which that can be a lifesaver. That has been something that is unfortunate. It's like, yeah, we get fucking... Depending on the target, sometimes we die. Like, just before they're about to die. And I could have had, like, a thousand more HP, you know? Alright. G2... Nile. Deputy Commander of the Red Guns, the Balaam Group AC Squad. Formerly the commander of the Balaam Security Force, a paramilitary police organization that preceded the formation of the Red Guns. Nile distinguished himself with an exceptionally high arrest rate, and in those days the only man he uh, never managed to put in handcuffs was Michigan, then the commander of the rival Furlong Armed Fleet. Having failed to arrest the man, he instead settled for a friendly drink with his old nemesis. All right, let's see if we can take out the the A rank ACs with what I've got. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program number seven. You have now reached rank A. Subject AC, deep down. Call sign Gun Two Nile. Commencing evaluation. I feel like there are a lot of ACs in these arena battles Main that are like activating all combat them. mode. Olive, like army green color. <laughs> I love it. And then he like fucking kicked me or some shit. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Where's my dramatic pose button? I want to flex on the the NPCs. Next up, V2 Snail, Deputy Commander of the Vespers, the Archivist Group's Augmented Human Squad. After receiving Generation 8 Augmentation Surgery, Snail continued to receive follow-up treatments as new technologies enter the mainstream so as to make their merits his own. Many Augmented Humans have died in order to assure the safety of his repeated adjustments. That makes sense. I was wondering about like the safety of repeatedly undergoing augmentations. It sounds like it's been a pretty fucking dangerous thing for people to do in this universe. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number six, rank A. I feel like if you have to go through like ten generations. AC, open faith. Call sign V2 Snail. Of a technology to develop to have like a better, commencing evaluation. Like drastically better survival rate, reliable survival rate. That oh, was too much. Too damn much. Of me, I'm chilling out over here. There you are. Ooh, oh, oh, God. Alright. He's got. He's got a melee weapon. I 
I don't fucking think so, fucko. Good couple of licks in there, but <laughs> target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. I like how over the course of like a rough battle, our fucking mech gets so like weathered, like battle damaged. Chartreuse, an independent mercenary who arrived on Rubicon around the time that the Quorum response was rediscovered. Held to be a member of Branch, a hacktivist collective active in the Rubicon system, Chartreuse is said to have dealt a critical blow to the closure system during the plot to attack Station 31. Branch is made up of a rotating group of four people, and Chartreuse is believed to be the second oldest of the current roster. Alright, let's take him out. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number five, rank A. Oh boy. Those are a lot of big guns! Subject AC, Umber Ox. Call sign, Chartreuse. That's a lot of big guns. Gotta be careful about Commencing that. evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. But hey, bigger body. Bigger target. that extra armor working out. Fantastic. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. It's funny because they're like, you know, even though he is a tank target, he's really not that much bigger than like normal ACs. You know? He doesn't, he just have like, he has a wider base, but, uh, it's really just that he doesn't move around nearly as much as the other targets. Alright. Last A rank. Thumb Dull Man. Father of the Rubicon Liberation Front, veteran military commander and founder of the School of Coral Mysticism. As a young man, Dull Man, Dull Man was once a doser vagrant, until the fires of Ibis burned the star system. In the fire's aftermath, he developed an ardent belief in symbiosis with the Coral. This belief informed the founding ideals of the Rubicon Liberation Front, ideals that have made martyrs, martyrs of countless Coral Warriors. See, that's, that's what I thought, right? Like, the beginning, the fires of Ibis. They said that it, like, affected the whole star system. So I guess it started from Rubicon, for sure. It almost sounded like, oh, you know, some other interstellar event happen, you know, like, though the sun fucking blasted out a bunch of fire across all the planets, and then it set a chain reaction of coral. But the idea that the coral just exploded from the planet out through the whole system. <laughs> Woo! We should never have come back. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number four, rank A. Final evaluation. Subject AC, Astreek. Call sign, Thumb Dolmaya. What? That's what it's pronounced like? Astreek? That looks like Aztec. Commencing evaluation. Aztec. Main system, activating combat mode. Anyways, he looks like a pretty meaty target himself. Whoa, that fucking range, huh?
want to see what happens if that fire bar fills up entirely. Evaluation. Only the best of the best remain. <laughs> we'll see about that. They need to be able to consistently shut down this shotgun bullshit. And then I want to copy them. <laughs> Learn from the best. Incoming car. Congratulations, you have surpassed rank A. It is a great honor to witness your ongoing evolution as a mercenary. Thanks, all Might. All Might exists for all mercenaries. Am I gonna get something really cool? No. Okay. Well, at least I got an OS tuning. Let's max ourselves out. We'll do, we'll do, let's do this, and then one, one little incy bit of, uh, damage mitigation. 